afternoon and welcome. My name is Megha Ayer, Associate Editor of B2B Projects Magazine. We welcome you to a live interaction on laser cutting innovations and material handling systems for the sheet metal industry, powered by Mesa Cutting Systems Private Limited. My colleague, Ms. Rajeshwari, from our editorial team, is here to introduce the panelists and to moderate this session. So, delegates, just sit back and enjoy the special interactive session. I welcome Ms. Rajeshwari. The Indian laser market is expected to register a CAGR of 18.2 percent by 2027. The demand for laser cutting machines is driven by automotive, heavy industry, infrastructure, electronics, consumer durables, railways, and others. The Indian automotive industry, including component manufacturing, is expected to reach 18.18 trillion rupees by 2026, according to IBEN. The market for lasers in India is driven by the automotive sector and thus job shops for the sheet metal cutting. Further, the fiber laser cutting machine market is India's fastest growing laser market. As India gradually advances in steel manufacturing, steel is among the most highly utilized metals. The increase in demand will significantly benefit the metal forming industry, which majorly uses fiber laser cutting machines. On this note, B2B Purchase Magazine is organizing a technology webinar on laser cutting innovation and material handling systems for sheet metal industry powered by Mesa Cutting Systems India Private Limited. Today, leaders from Mesa Cutting Systems will discuss the latest trends and innovations in laser cutting for metal fabrication and automotive sector. Ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor and a privilege for me to introduce you our today's distinguished speakers, Mr. Janak Bhuva, General Manager, CNC Business, Mesa Cutting Systems India Private Limited, Mr. Ravi Chandran D. Senior Manager, Product Management, Mesa Cutting Systems, India, Private Limited. Janak, we have a question to start with you. Uh, this is about, uh, you spoke about the lesser technologies available. Can you suggest us uh, what are the basic criteria to keep it in mind when somebody go for uh, lesser cutting technologies? Yes, you know, the basic portage of plate size, for example, it's below 16 mm and they want to cut 24 by 7. I would say that they should go by laser cutting machine with that kind of load because initial investment may be laser cutting for good quality of machine will be high. And so they require to have, you know, full load capacity and precision job, you know, where they require high accuracy and high precision. But particularly sheet metal or say up to 16 mm, they, they should go with the, with, the, you know, with the laser cutting. In case of the SS kind of application, they have to around 6 mm, 8 mm, 10 mm application that can go with the laser cutting that will be economical and uh, more suitable for their application. Thank you, Mr. Janak. Uh, Ms. Levi Chandran, uh, when we talk about uh, deploying this in laser cutting innovation for metal handling systems, uh, what kind of uh, cost factor is involved for installing this uh, facility and what uh, ROI you expect from that? This is really a good thing because when you see uh, India, we generally think of uh, like we get uh, cheap labor. That's what the myth it's, it's really a myth, but nowadays uh, getting a good manpower is really tough. But uh, handling these uh, uh, systems, like if you would say uh, this will be the ROI will be around uh, three to four years at the present condition. Like your productivity is increased because your uh, uh, downtime of the machine waiting for raw material is uh, reduced. That's in the metal handling system. Then when you have a, a process automation, and uh, it helps you in effective uh, planning of the uh, process. So indirectly, which is not visible right now, there will be a productivity increase of at least 20 to 25 percent. And uh, if uh, it's effectively done, sometimes the ROI can be within three years also. Thank you, sir. Mr. Janak, uh, when we talk about uh, machine space, scheduled and unscheduled machine downtime always has been a concern. And how are you addressing it? And what innovative ways uh, you suggest to implement this process? We as a messer, you know, we provide the you know, package called AMC package after, after, you know, supplying the machine and every two years what kind of part they have to change. And after three years, five years kind of giving to maintenance program, we run through for our existing customer. This will, you know, give you the forecast of the parts which are going to be failed. So in during the preventive maintenance, you can replace it. So the breakdown time will be the minimum. Apart from this one, the accidental breakdowns, we give the food operator training to the customer and how to check point before starting and before closing of the machine or closing 
thing of operation. So this will reduce the uh, overall accidental breakdowns. And apart from this one, we suggest that you know, people to keep the key component stock at their end and also the our end. So this will also bring down the you know, minimum breakdown time. Yeah, uh, good that you mentioned about the training aspect. Uh, Mr. Vijayendran, my question to you is when we go for uh, metal handling automation, it also involved a uh, skill labor or skill manpower required to maintain right what kind of training you provide for that uh, actually when you have metal handling the uh, requirement of skill labor is reduced if you if you actually see like um, skill labor is one man can operate a machine like he can manage the flow in of material and outflow of material also so actually if you really see like the skill labor is for the machine material handling is no no need to operate any metal handling system it is it's a part of the system so uh, the operator is like uh, right from uh, enables the metal handling system to work right from the machine controller itself so there's no skill involved in uh, handling a metal handling system actually metal handling system is literally substituting all the manpower which is required and uh, only for first loading of the material onto the storage or to place where the material has to be taken out and uh, the place where you have to uh, take the cut parts out that only needs some manpower involvement and that even to a minimum so that really it doesn't sense. depend on any skill level yeah to add this one to add this point also in our method whatever the product we offer we keep it always in mind to minimum skill requirement if you see our controller from all our machine controller whether it's oxy full plasma or laser machine the skill requirement is minimum that means all parameter predefined database is inbuilt anybody who can operate the mobile phone can operate our controller that kind of facility every time new controller comes in we keep it always in mind and offer so minimum skill requirement because today's work is difficult to find good good welder or good gas cutters so that is always in back of our mind when we do new product absolutely sir and also when we talk about innovations in laser cutting uh, safety is one of the primary concern for all the work space uh, yes. how do you address the safety concerns this question uh, is relevant for both of you i can i think you know uh, you should address <laughs> it together thank you actually laser like if you see this laser cutting like is a fiber we use fiber laser this uh, fiber laser has a wavelength of uh, 1070 nanometer and it's like uh, over exposure to this laser and if you are exposed your skin a long period of time then yes it can go down to three layers down and uh, it can burn your tissues and uh, it can lead to cancer also and suppose if suppose you have a beam of uh, laser reflected and hits your retina it goes deep into your retina and uh, it it can blind you also so what we normally have is we have a, a three layer uh, enclosure around the laser cutting uh, environment so we ensure that no laser or diffused or even reflected laser beam hits the uh, operator sir sure. mr jana would you like to add anything to and this is applicable to enclosed machine also and gantry type machine also and we try to give the you know uh, all kind of safety precaution you know even even you know lot of you know, low cost supplier try to you know save some money there to providing the low quality protection glass but we never compromise in this one i think so we will agree as a product managers to yes. give the highest quality <laughs> because that's the reason you know we are exporting all over now you know from india we started exporting canada usa and everywhere so without that you know it's impossible to sell there so we maintain higher standard of safety in our product whether it's a laser related plasma related all that. and also the all all gas hoses with the flashback arrester and all kind of stuff you know which give the maximum safety protection for people who are operated on. So do you have any uh, closing remarks, Mr. Jana? Yeah, uh, for, for the people, you know, it's, it's, uh, I think in today, today's world is very difficult to select the process, which one is suitable, you know. So where, where is important point, you know, people like us, we can guide the people where to select. You know, we have all three products, you know, we have a oxygen product, we have a plasma, and I see the people, they're all confused. What kind of product or process they should see? I think it's depend on your application, how much you work, you want to do it, and what kind of industry you are serving. So I suggest don't blindly go with laser, study your application and concern with the people who can guide you properly to select your process, whether it's a laser. Laser is the upcoming and then I would say latest technology, lot of benefits are there, but same time, you know, they have some limitations. So before selecting the process, we take the consultants, you know, on the maybe view from the other people and, and try to do it. And 
that's my advice to the people and uh, i would say that in industry that's very unwise and biased view and you know that makes a lot of sense definitely for the delegate thank you so much mr janak and it was a privilege for us to have you here today mr devi chandran do you have any uh, closing remarks it's like rightly what chalak said you have to define your process you have to learn which process is uh, good for your uh, application and after that uh, i i wouldn't uh, like um, advise people to just uh, go as per their process they should uh, uh, what you can say is uh, think about how best they can optimize it optimize it either in the process or the material flow uh, it's not a must but if they do it it is always beneficial for them so it's not it is not a same type of automation for each type of industry based on their uh, process and the environment which in which they are working the uh, automation can be configured so it's like nothing is uh, defined in automation so we study we actually study the process from the customer uh, view point and then we suggest what level of automation they can uh, go on and which will be beneficial to them so that type of approach should be taken up from by everybody and that will be good in the longer run thank you sir and you are in trust uh, in this uh, technology is very evident and your submissions were <laughs> very interactive including the videos and the way how you you know describe uh, the technology was very interacting and convincing thank you so much uh, for being here sir i request ms rajeshri to take it forward thank you panelists for exchanging your valuable thoughts on laser cutting innovations and material handling systems for sheet metal industry powered by mesa cutting systems private limited we hope you enjoy the procurement series before wrapping up today's session we would like to thank our distinguished panelists mr janak bua and mr ravi chandran you can follow our social media pages to get more updates on b2b purchases also our application is available on google play and app store for enhanced reading so with this we would like to announce the closing of today's session i request you to stay tuned for more such sessions Thank you and goodbye.